Obviously, we're pleased with the win tonight. I thought our kids really competed hard. You know, there was some of the little adversity that we had to entertain there towards the uh, you know later part of the third period and the way they we killed pet, killed that five minute major off. Um, and we showed, I thought, some resiliency. Our PK did a real good job, and Chris Rawlings, too, while my left was was fabulous in that today. So, please, for the way our team played, um, it was obviously a needed win. We've been struggling in the league, and it's a first road win, and a first you know, league win in a little bit. So, uh, you know, these are games that are where we're going to teams like UMass, ourselves, and three or four others that we're you know fighting for playoff spots with, and uh, so it's a nice win. And, you know, we get to do it again tomorrow night. Uh, they're a well-coached team, and they come at us. And in the first two periods, you know, they they carry the play, and, and Chris kept us in the play, in the game, and gave us a chance to win. And then, uh, and, which we did with a short-handed goal in the second. So, obviously, please, there's things that we can continue working on to get better in our own zone and and some areas, uh, and we'll we'll work and try and make those uh, adjustments for tomorrow night and, and use this win as a hopefully as a as a launch to continue playing. Uh, was that a little bit of luck in the on the shorthanded goal? It looked like he was late getting onto the ice on, on the thing, and it looked like it played out perfectly for you. Was that something you just didn't know you didn't know he was going on the ice in that spot? Yeah, you're pretty observant. I don't know where you were sitting from, but you're observant. Um, <laughs> we um, we gentleman that went out is, is Adam Reed, who was one of our penalty killers, and we we're looking for a different combination initially, and, and uh, it didn't work. But uh, Adam was right there. And, uh, he was next to go, so he jumped, and uh, so it worked out well. So uh, I don't know if there was confusion, but there was. Uh, we, were, we were thinking of going with a different um, pair, and then as it worked out, it worked out really well. But you talked after the St. Lawrence game about going back to the drawing board. Is that what your team did in, in the week during practice, and, and did that today? I thought our preparations were good all week. We, we posted a, a, a page on the on the in our locker room about uh, comments that Belichick had made the week leading into uh, the New York Jets game. And he, he said, I thought our, our preparation was very good. I thought our meetings, our, our walkthroughs, our practices, and all that was good. So we used that as a, as a focal point to make sure we had good practices on the ice, uh, good, good uh, video sessions, uh, strength and conditioning, and just try to build off of that. And, and we posted that, and we just kept going back to that all week long. And, if it works for him and the Patriots, and who's had a lot of success, and you know, we're certainly looking to, you know, create some focus. And um, but we did go back, and we had, we had a very good week of practice, very good week, and I was pleased with how our guys uh, wrapped it up, and knowing that we've been struggling and, and trying to you know get as soon as we could to this game so that we could uh, you know go and demonstrate what we what we did in practice all week. Coach, is this a type of game that? You know, a grind it out for 60 minutes type of game that you guys can really use as a stepping stone to sort of try to move up the rankings. You guys have been struggling as of late, so is this a game that you guys feel will help you move forward? Yeah, I mean, certainly we, we want that to happen. We know tomorrow night's going to be a different night. I mean, UMass is going to come into our building looking for two points. And, and so, you know, every night in this league is, is a grind it out game, and uh, there's no easy games. And uh, so we, we realize that we want to get our guys in the, in the into the mindset and mentality that hey we got to win these close one goal games and, and be able to grind it out and so this was nice we did a couple we had a couple games during the year we did this this was nice it was that type of game but you know tomorrow's another night and you know we've got to come to play and, and hopefully we can continue building uh, from off on this win tomorrow night Chris looked early like your defense was, your, your defense was doing a good job of keeping their shots to the perimeter and did seeing, did getting good looks and some of their early shots going to get you into a rhythm that maybe launched that performance for you tonight? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, again, I can't be more thankful for uh, how they played in front of me. I mean, you know, they, they kept it simple in front of me. So, you know, they, all the shots, you know, a lot of the shots in the first half of the game were from the outside, and um, which is great, you know, because I'm seeing them, and, you know, it's, it's a good way to start the game. Um, you know, I, like I said, I keep like saying, like, I, I was seeing the puck well in the beginning, and it just continued on. And I can't I mean, the defense played great in front of me. I can't say that enough. It made my job easier. As a goalie, when, you're, when your team's in a, in a bit of a slump the way it had been, do you look at, like, you have an opportunity if you put together a great game, no matter what people do in front of you, you can help, you can help sort of start turning things around? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I, when you're, I, don't know, I guess, struggling, 
Um, you know, like we have been in the past, or in the past little while, um, we need, um, you know, solid goaltending uh, to get you out of it, I think. And, you know, and I worked all week with our other goalies and our goalie coach and just kind of just get back to basics, you know, just, just going on playing, having fun, you know. Um, so it was definitely helpful for this kind of game to kind of launch us uh, into tomorrow night. Chris, the, re the review on that, uh, that shot during the power play at the end there, it was clearly showed it didn't go over the line, but were you aware of what happened behind you or did your teammates tell you what? Uh, I mean, I, I heard it hit the crossbar over my right shoulder. Um, and I mean, I knew it didn't go in because it ended up on the side of the net. And there was no way that if it went in, that it would end up there. So, I mean, you know, they're, just, they're doing their job, but I, you know, I kind of knew that in my back of my head that uh, it didn't go in. So, and it worked out for us. Coach, what can you say about the penalty kill? And you alluded to it earlier that five minute major was very, very good. Uh, this is a UMass team that has excelled on the power play. Just talk a little bit about your penalty kill effort tonight. Yeah, well, first of all, you're right. They're really skilled and up front on the power play, and, and they've got a couple of different looks that we try to prepare for. But they've got skill; they can find open seams for passes. They also pound it to the net, and they and they get to the net. So they've got some skilled guys who, who aren't afraid to get to the net. So, um, so we we're aware of that going in, and then you know, with six oh nine left on the clock, I think roughly, and then you know, West getting a five minute major. You know, we've got confidence in our power play, excuse me, in our penalty killing group, and, uh, and they just went out and really, really did a great job. I mean, and we were rolling probably five guys on the PK, and, you know, we try to play a little bit more of a pressured type of, uh, you know, system of killing penalties. We've gone to that, you know, a few weeks ago, and when you're doing that, you got to get pucks out early. When, when they get to keep pucks in their zone a little bit longer, it's hard to continue with pressure. Um, and they did that. So I like the way that our guys try to use their, 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 their sense a little more, just trying to get into some shot lanes and block shots and eat some pucks. That, um, because they, they didn't have the legs at that point, they know they're long to um, make the continued pressure. But yeah, they did a great job. And it starts with your goaltender. And Chris did a great job. Uh, the best penalty, best player in the penalty kill is your goaltender. He did a great job uh, not just stopping the pucks, but controlling the rebounds. And a lot of high shots that, uh, that they, there wasn't a second or third chance for because Chris uh, corralled those, uh, those stops.